Welcome to episode number 24 of turning $100 into $1 million, the series where I risk a whopping $100 of my money in an attempt for your entertainment to turn it into $1 million. Unfortunately, a red wave is upon us right now with the market, with the resurgence of cases. The U.S. recently hitting its all-time high as far as the number of cases in one day in the United States. Texas and Florida are being forced to pause reopening. So let's take a look at the Dow today. It was down over 730 points. That's after another day. At one point, it was down over 700 points. So a lot of red going on, which is not good news with my portfolio. But we're still in the green on Viacom, so that's still good. Let's see what we got here. So OXLC, it's down almost 26% or 1024. Viacom is up 46 and almost a half percent or 706. Levi down just short of a dollar, 84 cents, or 3.21. And DGLY, at one point I was up, perhaps I should have sold then, but all stocks are not doing the best right now, unless you're holding higher cap stocks. But it is down almost 25 bucks, or over 27%. Look at the charts here, Viacom, at one point it actually was in the green just for a split second today, but it is down for the five day. One month it's still just barely, barely staying alive. But it is cooling off right now after this long uptrend and rally that it had for several weeks. It is starting to taper off. And that's the same story for a lot of stocks here. Levi, five days, it's starting to go down. The momentum is starting to be lost due to the resurgence. So just the entire market, no matter what sector or industry you're in, right now is just taking a beating. This seems to be a second wave of the Roni Rona, as it's being called by YouTubers, but we'll just have to keep our eyes peeled and see what happens, but I'm not selling anything, I'm not panicking, I'm not shooting myself in the foot, I'm holding on, but you're gonna have to watch many episodes to see what will happen in the coming future. If you haven't seen other previous episodes yet, that will be on the homepage, that's where you can watch the entire playlist of all the episodes if you haven't seen them yet. DGLY, unfortunately now, well if you include after hours, it's at three dollars. There does seem to be support even though this is starting to plummet after its highs. There does actually seem to be support at the three dollar level and that's very telling in these last few days. It kind of refuses to go down three dollars. There's been many trading days where it was red at one point and it did go below three dollars but it then it came back up in the trading day or after hours and you know it being at three dollars after hours i think that's following that same pattern so there does seem to be support at three dollars for dgly oxlc still in the red five day one month it's actually up for the one month it's not benefiting me i always like to point out this pattern here of the higher lows but we're not seeing those higher highs yet so it's not necessarily an uptrend and i do think you could say the same thing right now I know it broke through what seemed to be a recovery there, but it doesn't want to test any of these territories previously held, so I think there is still hope for it, OXLC. I do want to take a look at Genius though again, this is the controversial stock. Many people are holding a lot of bulls, a lot of bears, some extremely bullish, some extremely bearish, but nonetheless this stock has still continued to be the talk in the penny stock communities. I correctly predicted that this would go near to zero, which it has at this point during this month. It was predicted that it would be in the double digits, which it is not. People called me out on this stock and that it would be surging by now, but it's simply not the case. This thing has only continued to go down even through when the market was doing well. This is just going to zero, or at least its previous territory at around the 20s or maybe a dollar, but this thing is starting to be worthless. I would not buy it, I would not bet on it to go up, I wouldn't trade it, I wouldn't swing trade it, I wouldn't invest in it for the long term. I do not think this is a viable good stock. This article talks about it as poor fundamentals, the growth trajectory is much less consistent than growth investors like to see, and cost of goods, or COGS, and selling general and administrative expenses have increased at much faster rates than revenue over the past eight years. Total revenue has dropped year over year, 72% from 1.22 million to 334,739, while losses from operations expanded 42% from 1.25 million to 1.77 million. 
The poor performance is due to weakness in the Genius Brands' television and home entertainment segment, which fell from $850.1 million to $52.2 million year over year. And there's equity dilution. Genius Brands is at high risk for equity dilution because of its massive cash burn and low stock price. Equity dilution occurs when a company raises capital by issuing additional shares. This increases the total number of shares outstanding and puts downward pressure on the value of existing shares in the company. Company is low on cash, poor performance, poor growth. This is not something you'd ever want to touch. It's just one of the many stocks that have been hyped up during these recent times because of the Roni Rona and the increased usage of Robinhood. Don't hop on the FOMO, don't listen to so-called experts, and do your own due diligence. And that's the lesson we can learn here with something like Genius Brands. My net account value, it is more than 100, but it is down again. Today, it was down 29.54, or over 17%. It does stand at 144.45, still more than 100 with the free stocks, but we do still have room to go. Something you do have to factor in is that I did sell ABR at a profit, so that's not necessarily factored in here when you are looking at my portfolio. So do know that I did make a good profit on ABR. You could see that in previous episodes, but I hope you enjoyed this quick episode. If you did, be sure that you give the video a big thumbs up, smash the like button, and if you'd like to see more videos or episodes from my channel, I post videos every single week covering business, finance, entrepreneurship, mindset, strategy, and tips and tricks from my own experience, as well as this series right here. So be sure you do click that big red button, subscribe, and if you'd like to be notified every single time I make a new video, so that you're first in line to see it, be sure you do click that little notification bell as well, so that we're notified every single time I make a new video. See you in the next one.